Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Army Men of War video and what do we have here? We have a toy D-Day landing. Look at this, look at the bunkers dudes, they're made of Jenga. Jenga bunkers and we have pencil defences and the Tans are going to be defending against the green forces. So this is going to be an Omaha beach like landing and they're up against a shed load of Tans. Look, we've got MGs, we've got bunkers, we've got trenches made of Jenga, dice, Lego, you name it, it is a toy Omaha Beach. And here comes the first wave of the green forces. Look at this. Look at them come. There's so many of them. No idea how many men per boat. It's not the uh, Rob's Realism boats because they can they can fit more men in. But um, there's, there's a good amount of troops going to move up this beach. Look at that. Look how many is moving up. And I've been meaning to make this map now for so long. This battle has been, it's been a long time coming and finally it's here. Just look at, look at this, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And I did live stream it, so a big shout out to everybody that watched the live stream and watched me create this. Oh, look at the devastation. So the Greens objectives are to move up, secure these bunkers and then move into the back of the map. As soon as the Greens get to the back of the Tan defences, they have won this battle. So look at this. Um, there is going to be a new wave of greens coming in every 120 seconds. But for some reason, I think I'm going to have to give them a little nudge to get out of the ships. But we, that's, that's going to be easily done because we can just turn down the, um, the speed of the game and watch them move up. So this is going to be a really epic battle. You can see that the greens are pinned down at the moment. We've got full full division of men, which is going to be pinned down on this beach. And this is the dog green sector, and there's a little bit of a Saving Private Ryan reference there. And also, it's um, it's it's a pun because these guys are green at the same time. That's pretty cool. We've got a giant Elsa doll. So this is pretty much everything from my Army Men of War series one. And you can see that this is all from the human dimension, not the uh, toy dimension. So this isn't main canon to my series. It's just a bit of fun, and he's walking through some Jenga. Oh God, there's a sea of Jenga. So this is going to be a really exciting battle. We have got some tan tanks at the top here as well, which are going to be uh, used as like stationary bunkers. And this is going to be a really exciting battle. Oh, here we go. I've got a um, another wave of greens approaching. So what we'll do is we'll just go into this mode. Oh, we do we've got some uh, virtual artillery, which is a uh, naval bombardment, I believe. So we're going to turn it down. Let's turn it down to one. And now we're going to select each one of these like this, because I need to give these guys a little bit of a nudge to get onto the beach. You're very easily done, look. We're going to select them and this one because for some reason I like to drive sideways. And we're just going to press G like this and try and get them behind. We'll try and rush them behind. This is going to be a really cool battle. Really exciting, this battle. I love doing Omaha Beach defenses. They've always been a favourite of mine. And here they go, here they go. Oh, it's still in slow motion. Look at this. Oh my god, you can just hear the explosions going off in the background as well as the machine guns. And they are MG34s, MG34 emplacements. Let's see if we can look from their view. Uh, here's their view, look. <laughs> look. They're rushing up the beach. Oh, they've got blue to plastic bits. Oh, this is so cool. And I thought this would make a really, really good beach def defense. Like, it's like a human beach. So it's not like a toy beach, it's like a human beach. But you can imagine this being on the coast of somewhere. And they've set up all of their defenses using Jenga, these buckets to carry their soldiers in. So it's very nostalgic. It takes me back to my childhood. I need to take my toy soldiers to the beach. And nine times out of ten, I'd always lose them as well. Look at this. <laughs> Using these as cover. Oh, what was that? What was that um, famous Saving Private Ryan re reference? It's like, we gotta get off the beach. They're effing killing us, man. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't swear, really. No, we don't do any cursing on this channel, really. Uh, we have a lot of kids watching. So anyway, we are going to be focusing more on the Army Men of War series, but I had to do this video because I know you guys really dig the beach-like defences. But we've got another wave going to be approaching any minute now. Let's take it out of slow motion mode. It's currently in slow motion. Oh no, it's oh wait, we're in normal speed. Okay, we wasn't in slow motion mode. Let's try out some of this naval bombardment. So where should we bombard? I think we need to take out this central position right here. We're going to bombard this area. Let's check it out. But, oh dude, the sounds are so cool with all the machine guns, the rifles. It sounds just like the real Omaha Beach. Well, where's this... Uh... Oh, here we go. The naval bombardment started. I think, do we get a direct hit? Uh, we, we nearly got a direct hit on their cannon then. So, they're going to be... Um, I think it's 120 rounds are going to be shot every three seconds now onto this beachhead. And that will be coming from the back of the map in that direction from the battleships. 
So that's going to be very effective. We're going to get these guys off one by one. Where's the other troops? Well, you, you, you. Go keep selecting them. I did try to script them to come out by themselves, but the game's been really glitchy. And the first wave was the only wave that would work for some reason. So instead of doing this, we're going to send them to the, to the front right here. We'll get these guys to the front of the map. That way they don't get gunned down straight away then. And here they come, they're rushing out, look. And like, find the captain on the beach. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to do more of these sort of beach invasions. Because I know you guys really dig them. Well, so, they make up for, like, um, a lot of M1 Garands. We've got a bazooka. We also have a bar rifle. And I know there's a, there's a squad leader as well. So they, they appear to be regrouping at the position that I just told them to regroup at. And so they're all rushing from that side of the beach down to this side of the beach. And maybe that's good because then they can focus on their main force on the left. Have they managed? They've not even managed to take out the front bunkers yet. These gentle bunkers are killing us, man. Look at that. Just look at that. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's just good to pan across the battlefield and see the damage. Let's do a slow pan. Slow pan across this battlefield like this. Look, we'll do it back here. That's good. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was meant to upload this video yesterday, but I did take a, uh, I took the night off it yesterday because I, I realised that there was another uh, series of Shameless USA out, so I was like, okay, do you know what? I'm not going to do a video tonight, I'm just going to binge watch this series instead. I stayed up till like 6 in the morning watching Shameless. I don't know if anybody's ever watched that series, but it's really good. Oh, we've got another wave approaching. I don't know if the Greens are actually going to win this battle. Um, like I say, well, the outcome is never... Uh, I never really tested the battle until the outcome of the, uh, to see what the outcome is, you know, there's new words up there. But we're going to get these guys out a bit early, we'll get these guys swimming to the, uh, the coast. We'll get you guys swimming to the coast as well. We'll just keep them coming. There's another one. Get them guys in the central position. Uh, as of you guys, I want you guys to stay towards these barriers here. They're actually blowing the barriers up. The tank barriers are getting exploded. Maybe we can bring some tanks in later, who knows. We'll see how good the infantry do. If the infantry do alright, we won't bring any tanks in. If they don't do any good, we'll bring some tanks in. Yeah, we do need some tanks. Unfortunately, we don't have any crafts or anything to bring any uh, tanks to actually land on the beach. I wish Men of War had something like that. And if there is anything like that, let me know in the comments, because I'd love to download something like that and turn it into a plastic colour. Alright, look at this. <laughs> it's just like body parts everywhere. This is a really, really cool battle there. Really cool battle. Uh, so we have killed some tans in the trenches. I'm not too sure if that was the artillery though. Let's get some more naval bombardments on the bombers themselves. Oh, there's still like, you can see that the naval bombardments are still happening on this central position here. But we're going to move it now onto this flank. Let's bombard this flank. Maybe it'll give us a little bit of room to manoeuvre and move some more greens up. Because that's what we need to see. We need to just get the greens through the shingle, past the shingle, which is this mound right here, and into the um, into the defences of the tans. But I think we've got another wave coming, have we? Nope, not yet. Got to wait for the next wave. And there's still a lot of men on the beach. Oh look, Dark One is open. I repeat, Dark One is open. That's from uh, Saving Private Ryan, isn't it? Where they charge through the centre. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a link in the description to one of my old Omaha Beach videos. I want, I want you guys to tell me what you think of it, because... I made it years ago, but I, I was really proud of the outcome, to be honest. I was supposed to make a part two of it, but I never did. I think we'll, is the next wave coming in? Yes, there we go, we've got another wave here. It's going to get really laggy, I might have to manually delete some of these boats. But never mind, never mind. We're running about three frames per second right here. Get you guys there. Now those machine guns are distracted, maybe we can get some men on this side of the beach. Let's just delete some of these boats, because we don't need this many boats. Like I say, this is just a quick battle today, because I've not uploaded in the past yeah, three days, really. Not, not a proper video. I'm going to be live-streaming, really. And I will be live-streaming a lot more as well. But look at that. This looks beautiful, doesn't it? It looks really nice. And it's all 100% toys as well. It really goes with the toy genre. I think the Jenga blocks do make it a little bit laggy. We'll bring some in there. Where's the rest? I wish I didn't have to do this. Let's just select them all at once. Be quicker. That like you, you, and you. That's it. Right there. Now, where's G? There it is. There's G. I can't find the G button. There we go. Now they're all going to disembark and run up this beach. <laughs> I, mean, I wonder how many men we've lost so far. I think the Greens have lost a lot of men. A hell of a lot of men. 
that uh, naval bombardment is doing its job on that right flank. Like I say, as soon as the greens get to the back of the map, they have one. And if they don't, if we do lose all of our waves, and there's only five waves of greens that are going to be approaching the uh, beach. So if we do lose all of the greens, then unfortunately we've lost the battle. Oh, they're trying to work on that trench now. I wonder, there's, that's a lot of greens versus only three men. There's only three tons in there. Exchanging fire. <laughs> really proud of this map. Really proud of it. And like I say, big shout out to everybody that watched me in the live stream because I, they watched me make it. And if you want to see more live streams where I do map making, do let me know. So I do enjoy the whole map making side of things. And I think to be able to get more videos out, it takes me ages to do videos because... Um, it's because... When I make a video, right, I've got to make a map for every video. And it's really hard for me to do that because it takes me a whole day just to make a map. So I've been thinking, what if I was to do day on, day off? One day I can make the maps, next day I can do the recordings. If that makes sense. So if I can make three maps in one day, and then make three videos the day after. How does that sound? Rather than having to rush it all every time and, you know, stuff like that. But let's manually control these screens and try and send them up the centre now. And get them through this middle part. Go, 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 squad. But that's more of a platoon, isn't it, than a squad. We have another wave approaching. And I think that's all of the greens, I think. That's literally all the men that we have left. We need to get them off the beach because the artillery is just going to pound them. Let's get them off the beach and try and get them into these uh, town defences. Get them back here if we can. Oh, he's charging them. Look, there's one man versus all those tans. I wonder if he's going to win. Nope. He took an artillery um, shell to the, to the foot, to the knee. Took, oh, no, he's back alive. No. Nope. It didn't phase him. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Okay, now he's, now he's killed. Didn't last long. But I think the green artillery it did the most damage, really, on this flank. And also, guys, I'm going to be sending this map off to some other YouTubers. I'll be making this map public. Um, for people that do have the mod on Patreon. And for people that... For other YouTubers that have the mod as well. If they want to play this uh, map, um, I'll be sure to put a link in the description um, of where they can get it. So... For people that aren't Patreon, do become a Patreon, because if it's $10 or more, you get access to all of my older maps and um, some of my mods as well, including the Army Men of War mods. So if anybody does want to support the channel, um, that's the way of me saying thank you. A big thank you to all my Patreons, because you guys are really, really helping me out. These greens, what are these greens doing? Come on, come on, get up that beach, man, get up the beach. Uh, where's the rest of them? Oh, we do have another wave. Okay, so we've got more soldiers. I'm just going to count them. We've got another boat there. We're going to get as many as we can on the beach. I think there's only two ships left. Okay, so it's just two ships. We need to use these wisely because there's still another still another trench to take out at the back there, I think. Yeah, this is going to be really hard. I know what to do. We'll, we'll focus our artillery now. Every time I click this, it focuses it from the area that I clicked to the new area that I select. So now watch, we're going to be... Um, focusing the artillery on this position here now. We can see it's already started. But because they're in a trench, the way that Men of War does work is... Um, if, if they're in a lower elevation than the explosion, the explosion won't affect them. Which is quite realistic, really. It's like being in cover. How are we doing on this side? This tan is not giving up, look. He's the last dude standing. And he's holding off a full, full company of men right there. Oh, no. We just lost like a whole squadron right there from one shot of the artillery. Not good, not good at all. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to be trying for daily uploads, dudes. I keep saying it and I keep trying. But I always get set back by at least one day, so. I do want to get to a point though where I'm uploading a video like every 12 hours or so. What are they doing? We've got loads of little green heads in there. Get out of the Jenga, man. Get out of the Jenga. I tell you, to fix that, I've just got to like put a little bit of cardboard there or something. No, no, now I'm getting them killed. There's a reason for hiding in the Jenga Mighty. There's a, there's a reason. How are we doing over here? But we've pretty much lost the whole green army on this side. We're going to try and push them up even further. That artillery is not really having any effect on this trench because of how dug in, dug in they are. Yeah, so now it's just trench versus whatever's left of this, this company. And that bar rifle is so cool. I love how he holds it. I love how he's hit firing. It's epic. Okay, how are we doing over here anyway? Oh, we've got one tan there. And other than that, I think we're doing a, we're doing a good job. We're doing a really good job taking out these beach defences. We've still got a full squadron of tans over here. So let's take control of these tans. We need to move them into the action. 
Let's do a counter-attack. Let's Banzai charge. Let's do a Banzai charge in the centre. Try and take the beach. Do this. And like I said, this battle is a bit of fun, guys. It's not it's not main canon to my series. It's just simply a um, toy Omaha Beach, just like I promised. I did promise making this map ages ago. So I do want to mix up this channel a little bit. I don't I don't want to do all the same things all the time. You know, that's why I'm gonna do some more Star Wars things. I'm gonna be doing um, Army Men of War, the series. And I'll also be throwing in some other Army Men videos as well, like this, which are just like normal battles. I will clarify in the video if they're main law or not. But um, I think what we're going to be doing in the main law for Army Men of War, we're going to be doing more of an extensive battle map with flags and stuff like that. But you'll tell the difference anyway. You'll tell the difference because battles like this are just going to come straight with a um, just with a small intro, very small intro, like you saw at the start of this video. Let's bring these troops up here. Look at the pencils. I love the pencils. Looks so nice. How are we doing on this side? You guys get there. It's actually like the real Omaha Beach look. How they're storming the uh, cannons in the back of the uh, in the back of Omaha. I find it really hard to talk today. I mean, I, I went to sleep this morning at about 6 a.m. I'm not joking. I was up all night um, watching the TV. I don't know why. I just I just lost track of time. I do that sometimes. And then I fell asleep around. I think it was around middayish, half past eight middayish. Uh, no, no, I don't know, not half past eight midday, about, about half past eight-ish, you know, between the half past eight and ten o'clock. And then I woke up at like 5pm and I was like, what? I missed the whole day. That bunker's still full of MGs. Well, what is he doing? Let's see if we can play out some of the MGs. Oh, that's so cool. This is why we need it in call to arms, look. Right, reload. Focus on the front, focus on the front. Take out these greens. Why are they focusing on the side? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I love it. I love these bunkers. I might start making my own bunkers from now on. I might, even if it means putting in like just piece by piece. It's always nice to make your own own things. It's a lot more nostalgic when you're actually using human entities as well, like cardboard and Jenga blocks and Lego. I mean, it, it does increase the lag a little bit though, which is not good. Let's move these guys up. We're just going to charge this point here. We have tried taking it out with some naval bombardment, but it didn't seem to work. It didn't work at all. But never mind, never mind. We still have some troops left. What happened to that Banzai charge? I think, yeah, I think the Banzai charge got completely annihilated. Because whatever I touch just gets wrecked. This guy's uh, providing some covering fire for his other troops. Oh, maybe we've got a direct hit. No. Oh, we have. We've got a couple of direct hits from the artillery. Uh, the artillery will stop eventually. It doesn't happen forever. We have got another squad of men on this side, though. A squad of riflemen. And other than that, I think we're doing pretty well. We've got another squad there. and another, So the Tans are pretty much winning. But let's get these guys. Let's get you guys up here. There's a way up. So we can take out this trench here. So they're set to take that trench out now. But let's see how well this squad does against these Tans. They're moving up. Oh, they have no idea they're there, look. Oh, we need some grenades. Where's the grenades? Oh, the bar rifle doing his job. Oh, that's good. But now we're getting opened up on the um, on the back flank. Look, you can see these four men are now starting to shoot the greens that have just come up this flank. I think we should have brought some troops up here sooner because there's not a lot of defenses on this left flank. Look at the trenches. Look at that. Oh, it goes down. It looks epic. Um, so this is more of an arcadey video today. Just a bit of fun, just a bit of fun. Something to throw out in between the uh, main episodes. Oh, oh, there's a cannon. Do, do we actually have grenades? I don't think we have grenades, do we? Maybe this bar rifle does. We're moving forward. I'd be on this bucket. Oh no, he's not a bar rifle, he's got a rifle. There we go, take him out. I'll just get him to shoot him on their own. Rather than me taking control of them. I always make mistakes. Look at all the damage from that artillery. They will lose all of our greens, and we've still got some green soldiers left down here. Let's just pull them into the action again, like that. Um, is there any more men on the beach? We're pulling all the troops on the beach now. All the troops on the beach. Get up here. There's only three men. There's only three men on the beach. Do we have any more boats full of now? I don't think we do. Now, all the LCVPs are empty now, apart from these guys over here. We've got some dudes left inside the uh, boats themselves, but they're holding these, like, HMGs. These 50 cows. Maybe we'll have to get them out of the boat soon to come and support them. There's a squad leader right there. Um, constantly roving his gun. Maybe there's something wrong with the ammo file. I'll have to fix that. So we might have to pick up another person's gun. 
Uh, we'll just say he's out of ammo at the minute. He's doing... Oh, I'll tell you what, that's the same glitch as what they do on DayZ. I don't know if anybody's ever played DayZ, but that used to be a glitch on there as well. Let's move these troops around here. Oh no, we've actually took those dudes out. Did we win on this flank then? Oh, we did! With two men left, there's only two dudes left, and the bar rifle survived. I'm proud of you, Mr. Bar Rifle. I'll have to look at how many kills they've got. Let's see how many kills. So, as of these two dudes, no, he's got none. Okay. Oh, and the bar the bar rifle's got three, obviously. Because the bar rifle did rocks on this game. Move these guys up then, and see if we can flank those dudes in the trench. There's still a full squad of men there, though. Uh, maybe we can distract them on that flank there. Um, first of all, I mean, they're, they're not posing any threat, are they, that uh, cannon? At least I hope, we, I hope they're not. Oh, look, all the explosions on the beach as well. We've got some uh, ki kitty little... Where, where are those little blocks? There they are. These little kitty blocks with the letters on. I think they're quite nostalgic as well. I used to build little forts out of them when I was a kid. Um, where's all our troops got? I think we've lost all of our troops. So all that's left so far then is those two men, I believe. We've got some men back here. Is that the bar rifle? That is the bar rifle. Get them, get them charged. Oh my god, they actually did it. They took the squad out. They actually took the whole squad. And now let's get to the back of the map without getting hit by artillery. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. And this will be a victory for the greens. Two men in reserve. Oh no, there's troops there as well. We've got more men. Let's just charge every soldier to the back. All right, move this artillery to that flank because it's going to blow our own troops up. And other than that, I think that's a victory for the Greens. That was a, that was a really good battle. I really enjoyed that. So do let me know in the comments. Did you do you want to see more sort of uh, D-Day battles and stuff like that? More arcadey army men battles between uh, the main army men episodes. Like I said, we're going to be bringing out some more Star Wars and other videos as well. I think I'm going to be playing some other games as well. I'm looking into some um, indie games like... Um, uh, What's that game? Kingdoms and Castles. We're going to be playing some of that soon as well. Because it's got this cool map editor and we can play... Uh, we can make different castles and stuff on it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do hit that like button and do subscribe. Join the Mighty Nation, pushing on 19,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video.